Welcome to the Pyrocordist. Today we're going to be doing something from West Country Whipping. Um, it's on YouTube. I'll provide the link. Uh, this is called a mirrored weave. Uh, we're going to relabel it as the mirrored mamba um, with respect to the West Country Whipping invention or video from which I learned this knot. Um, it's a nice robust knot. It requires a spine. We're going to change up a little bit and make a double spine out of it and uh, we're going to get started doing that right now. What I've got set up here on the jig is uh, a double spine starting point. Um, I've put a cow hitch on the top up here. I'm working the bracelet upside down. I'm using a 5 8 inch curved buckle. Um, I've got a burn. I'm using two colors. I've got a burn here that we're going to bury and we've got a cow hitch facing toward the top of the buckle and then we loop it down through the next buckle and then back up and over the top so these are our two working ends and this is where we're going to start so the first knot we're going to do is like this we, I'm going to want the red to be the predominant color uh, that would be pretty much on the outside uh, this weave is very much like the cobra weave, is why I think a snake theme is, is pretty good for it. Um, the first knot, we're going to use the entire spine here to make a nice thick bracelet. Uh, that's the modification we're doing on the West Country whipping item. And we're going to bring the, the left over and the red on top of it and back out. The loop. Now notice these knots are going to go, gonna go on top, they're going to alternate, they're going to go on top of the spine and then under the spine. Next we're going to take the gray underneath the spine and the red underneath the gray, then back over it. Don't pull through the loops pull it down under like so and pull it tight. Now you notice that knot went underneath the spine. So we've got something going on here where we've got a knot now on top and another one on the bottom. So our next move is going to be to pull the gray back over the top again and the red over the top of it and over the top. Now we're going to bring the gray back under the red underneath the gray and over the top. Now reach all the way under pull the red or your left strand under like this The gray is going to go back over, the red over the top, underneath the gray, and come back around. And commencing forward, we've got a knot on top here. You can kind of see that one's missing under the bottom. Going to bring the gray under. The red goes under that one. over and through the back. We're going to bring the gray across the top, the red over, under and staying on top of the spine. make another knot. Now we've got the gray coming out from on top. We're going to bring the gray back under, the red underneath, and back over, and out. 
out the other side. So now we've got a nice pattern going. It's going to be red on the borders. And you can see here that it, it's kind of resembling the cobra stitch. You can tighten this up. We don't want any spaces. You might be able to see some daylight through some of the stitches there. We're going to tighten those up and continue with the weave and we'll get back together when it's time to finish. So I've just about got this done. As you can see I've got a few more to do and I'm going to do those for a review. That's bringing the left over the top and crossing over with the right on top of the spine. I'm going to bring the right under and remember the left now goes underneath through there through the loop on the left and underneath do not pull it through this way always bring it back behind one more from now we're going underneath for this end back around and underneath so as you can see here I went ahead and work with the fids had to use two different sizes because I almost ran out of cord I'm going to state again that I used 13 feet of paracord that's about six and a half feet of each color we've got a finished bracelet now um, this end actually down here is the finished end um, we've got one cord being fitted down the middle on this side and one fitted down the middle on this side so now everything is finished we don't have any burns it's a nice robust mamba bracelet it's the mirrored mamba this is a nine inch bracelet as you can see it's quite robust got some great thickness to it and this should be a great addition to anybody's collection. Thanks for watching.